Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in our Mirage 2000C and we're looking at using ACM radar modes. That means if we are within 10 miles of the Hosfile, it's prudent to use one of these ACM modes to lock a target with an STT, a single target track, rather than using our radar scope and our BVR radar. The controls we're going to be using today are weapon system command forward to cycle between ball sight, vertical scan and HUD mode, weapon system command aft to cycle between the two horizontal scan modes, depress to unlock a target. For all these radar modes to work, we must ensure our radar is emitting. So emit, we're gonna turn our master arm on as if we were in combat. The first ACM radar mode we'll look at is boresight mode. If we press weapon system command forward, then we come up with this chap here. That is a boresight of three degrees in diameter, maximum range around 10 nautical miles. All we have to do is maneuver so that a hostile aircraft comes within this circle here and then it will automatically lock them in an STT. Now interestingly you can see an aircraft there has, I don't know if you can see it on the video, has just actually crept past our circle and it did not lock him. That's either because he is out of range, i.e. more than 10 miles, or possibly that he's in an aspect that means that our radar cannot lock him like he's notching, beaming, um, but we covered that in another video. If we press weapons system command forward again, then we go to vertical scan mode. In this case, we have a thin strip of a width of 4.8 degrees, which is about there to there roughly and down to minus 10 degrees here and up to plus 50 degrees which is somewhere like that this is what you will use in a dogfight where you have a higher off the ball sight target between the ball sight of the aircraft and the lift vector of the aircraft again place a target anywhere within 10 miles within that theoretical band of scan and we can lock him up and just keep pressing the forward button to cycle between the two now if we had a s530 missile selected we get a different mode instead of the vertical so I could now switch between foresight and this which is SVI which is basically HUD mode it's actually a, a 20 degree circular scan I believe it basically covers searches anything within 10 miles in the area of the HUD and that's only if we've got the 530. Next if we press weapon system command off then we cycle between the two horizontal modes BAH BA2 that is horizontal mode 1 horizontal mode 2. Both of them search in a letterbox type pattern. 30 degrees left, 30 degrees right, totaling 60 degrees with an elevation of 3 degrees up, 3 degrees down. So 6 by 60 degree scan. Again, put the hostile in that letterbox and it will lock them up. It is ground stabilized, so just bear that in mind in terms of roll. The difference between the two is that mode one search, <laughs> I've just locked someone up. Mode one searches in a high PRF, that's a pulse repetition frequency of the radar, and mode two searches in a medium PRF, and that's all about the aspect of your hostile. We've got a separate video on that. That is all of the radar modes. Now we'll just go show actually using them. And pause, I'm gonna unlock this guy with the depress button. Okay, we'll start with boresight. Forwards, put the guy in the boresight. Got him. Let's unlock. Next, we're going to try vertical scan, and we're going to take them quite high off boresight now just to show it working. So, vertical scan now, and we've got him. You can see that it's a dotted, the target designated box is dotted, but he's up there off the top of the HUD at the moment. So let's try a horizontal scan. You can see it's ground stabilized. Let's try and get him off to the left or to the right. It's going to pick one of them up. In terms of priority, it will always prior it will just lock the first one it comes to. There's no other priority. There's no range or coalition priority. And you can see it's locked that guy up there. Just a quick look at some of the radar lock symbology here. We've got our target designator box there. If it's off the edge of the HUD, which is classified as off the edge now, then we have this shadow dotted box here showing that it's off the HUD up and to the right. You can see that our closing velocity is currently minus 21 knots, so we're actually he's escaping us by 21 knots. And we have a dynamic range scale here, which will automatically scale for his distance. And we can see that he is just under two nautical miles away from us in terms of slant range. That's all we're going to cover today. We'll look further at the radar when we cover the weapons in the weapons tutorials. Otherwise, I hope that was useful and see you later.